Hey everyone and welcome to the F-Stoppers post-production tutorials. In this episode we will be doing some simple cutting and pasting to enhance a beauty image in what is often called digital cosmetic or plastic surgery. I know you've heard me mention in previous tutorials how symmetry plays such an important part in shooting beauty. No person's face is 100% symmetrical and often the aim of beauty photography is to present an idealized version of ourselves. One of the things I find most amazing about photography is how different the camera and the human eye are able to capture images. No camera will ever be as sophisticated as the human eye in its ability to adjust for exposure and color, and it will never be able to yield the same dynamic range that we are able to see. When we look at people, our eyes are constantly adjusting to their movements, making us less prone to notice physical irregularities. When a camera freezes that person for a fraction of a second, however, blemishes and other flaws become pronounced because our eyes no longer need to adjust for the person's natural movement from breathing or speaking. When I was shooting this model for a beauty editorial, it was only when reviewing the images on my monitor that I was able to notice that when she smiled, one of her eyes was much smaller than the other. This is something I'm sure that most of us have encountered, and is even more noticeable on a straight-on beauty shot because of the lack of symmetry. Luckily, there is an easy fix. All we need to do is select the eye we want to use, jump it to a new layer, flip it, and move it over to the other side. Now with a little fine-tuning, you would have never known it was retouched. I just use a normal lasso tool feathered at around 5 pixels. The feathering will allow the transplanted area to blend in smoothly to its new surroundings. It's always best to select a larger amount than needed. Once you make your selection, simply hit Command J on your keyboard to jump it to a new layer. Next, go to Edit, Transform, and click on Flip Horizontal. Hit V on your keyboard to select the Move tool, and drag the eye over to the other side. Once you are happy with the positioning, you need to add a layer mask to paint out the unwanted areas. Using a black, soft edge brush at about 50% opacity or lower, paint away the areas you want to hide. And that's it. Now watch as I apply the same procedure to correct her teeth. There will be times when you need to use a free transform tool to help you reposition the transplanted area. To do this, simply hit Command T on your keyboard and rotate, drag, and reshape as needed. The beauty of using a layer mask is you are able to paint and repaint with white or black, hiding and revealing to fine tune your correction. I hope you've enjoyed this simple and easy technique for correcting facial symmetry. As always, you can find me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and keep up with me on my blog. I also have some upcoming workshops this summer, and you can check those out on preptopost.com. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next F-Stoppers post-production tutorials. <laughs>